This levitating lighter trick is so incredible that it's almost difficult to believe. But using Schlieren Imaging, you can easily see how this works. And in today's video, I'm going to use this special imaging setup in my garage to test out a bunch of cool experiments that look even more amazing when you can actually visualize elements that are normally invisible to the human eye. That and I'm going to test out a bunch of random objects just because it's fun. When solid objects are placed in front of the lens, they directly block that light and you see a silhouette. However, when something transparent with a different density like butane is in between, the light refracts as it passes through and that change of direction causes some light to miss the lens, resulting in the distinct dark outlines. Here's what a candle looks like when burning and I also tried the old relight the candle from its unburned wax paper trick. I've shown this before and since you don't need Schlieren to see it, it makes sense that watching this using these special optics didn't add much, but oh well. Flame propagation in general is really interesting to me and here's a few random shots that I got while messing around with it. I think it looks especially cool in slow motion, despite the limited 60 FPS of the telephoto lens on my camera. During a test with the torch, I also noticed something interesting, which was that I couldn't really light the torch by releasing the butane in the same way, and it would often even extinguish the flame. I tried this with a candle and it also extinguished it, which surprised me. Only if I barely release the butane will it ignite and travel back to the opening. I've shown before that if you release butane from a lighter without sparking it, you can ignite that source of butane from a different open flame, and the flame propagates back to that nozzle and continues burning. If I do this again, but place a mesh in between the two lighters, something cool happens, which is that the butane flows through the mesh and can be ignited, but the flame doesn't travel back to the nozzle of the lighter and instead is stopped by the mesh. The metal mesh acts as a heat sink that cools the flame temperature to below the ignition temperature of the gas on the other side of the mesh. Although this looks especially cool under Schlieren imaging, it was more than a fun discovery and created the invention of the Davy Lamp, which is a lantern completely surrounded by a metal mesh. The goal of Davy Lamps was to improve the safety of miners. Normally, if you were working in a mine with an exposed lantern and you stumbled upon a gas leak, it was GG. However, with the Davy Lamp, only gas that made it through the mesh was ignited and it didn't spread. Next, to turn a regular lighter into one that levitates like this, you need to remove the safety guard and add some pen ink to the nozzle. To show the difference in flow that adding the pen ink causes, here's a clip of butane coming out of an unmodified lighter, and then after adding some pen ink, here's what the new flow looks like. I should say this is one example of what it looks like, it doesn't always come out that diagonal and does change as you use it, but you can definitely tell it shoots out a bit further. And lastly, the moment we've all been waiting for, the dual welded levitating lighters. I was struggling to get both of them stable, but once I did, as expected, when you cross the streams, the flame retracts back to the point that it hits. Doing this kind of reminded me of that one scene in Harry Potter. I'm out of time on this short, but check out the full video to see everything I tried. 